Welcome to Capilota Studios. I'm Chris. Don't let the stress of travel keep you down. Today we will be using the foam roller to release any tension from lifting luggage, sitting on an airplane, or simply traveling in a car. Join me as we rid the body of those kinks to loosen up. Remember to hit that subscribe button and give a thumbs up for your support. So let's get started. We're going to begin on the right glute. So you're going to sit up on that roller, lean that right hand back, lean all your weight onto that right butt cheek, and then use your feet on the floor to roll to the top and to the bottom of that glute. So after traveling, a lot of times we get uh, a little tight, our hips don't move too much, so we want to loosen up that tissue and that glute. You might find some knots, I call them speed bumps. So just slowly rolling all the way to the top, all the way to the bottom. If you find a spot that's a little tender, maybe just pause and maybe rock that leg side to side or even the body. Just a small little movement. Continuing to the top and the bottom. One more. And let's go a little deeper. So we want to give that time, that tissue time. So going slowly, bring that right ankle across the left thigh and let's roll some more. Now, if this is very painful or you're super stiff and you can't quite get that ankle over the thigh, you can always hug the knee in or you can just stay without the leg crossed. Try to open up that right knee if the leg is crossed and you might get deeper into that glute. Now another option is to hold like the middle or right on that tender spot and pull that knee up and down. Massaging out any of those trigger points. I like to spend a little bit of time on the glute. Just really loosen things up. Go a little higher. A little lower, you can be on the knuckles, you can be on the wrist or the hands, whatever feels okay to you. Last one. And then we're gonna uncross that leg and we're just gonna switch to the other side. So you're going to lean your body weight to the left or you can turn around, bring your left hand to the floor, feet flat and roll to the top and to the bottom of that glute. And just feeling the difference on this side might have some more spots here. I'm trying to relax as much as you can while you roll. Really relaxing that left leg. If you find any spots, again, maybe bringing the leg up and down, maybe rocking a little side to side. Might find some spots towards the top of the glute, maybe down by the sits bones. Last one, and then we're going to find the middle of the glute. Pull that left leg up, cross the left ankle over the right thigh, knee open, and let's continue to roll that glute. And if you find a spot, just pause on it and move that knee up and down. Find different areas. One more, all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom. Now we're going to uncross that left leg. We're gonna slide off the front of the roller. Now we did the right leg first, so we're going to pull that right leg across the left thigh and just give it a squeeze. Maybe take your right hand behind you and twist. Flex that left foot. And then slowly release, uncross that leg and let's pull the left leg across. Flex that right ankle, pull that left hand behind you as a kickstand just to support you. 
and just hug in that left knee with that right arm. So you're feeling that stretch through the glute. It should feel really good after foam rolling it. And release. Now we're going to move into upper back. So a lot of times we just sitting a lot. We, or maybe you were on a business trip and you were working on your computer a lot. We're going to lean back so the shoulder blades are on the roller. Fingertips are going to be nice and wide. Open up the chest, flat feet on the floor, lift the hips, and then roll to the top and the bottom of that upper back. So we're going to do about four times here. One more. Then you're going to find about the middle of those shoulder blades, and I want you to bring your arms across your body like you're giving yourself a hug. Tuck your chin slightly and roll again. If this is hard on the neck, feel free to use one hand to hold your head. One more. Find the middle of those shoulder blades, arms out to the side. Go towards the top of the shoulder blades now. Draw your hips to the floor. Bring your knees somewhat together. And now you're going to rock into, I'm going into my left armpit, and you're just going to rock side to side, going armpit to shoulder blade. So the elbow comes off the floor. Go where you feel comfortable. If you're missing lymph nodes, you want to stay back in the shoulder blade and just move up and down like this, um, moving the body forward and back instead of side to side. You can roll all the way towards that chest wall if you'd like. And then back. And just notice what's going on in that shoulder blade area. One more. Now you're going to take your top right arm. You're going to hold on to the head with that. Roll back just enough that you can get your glutes on the floor, your feet flat. Bring that left arm next to your body. So you're reaching towards your hips with your left arm. And just lean slightly onto the arm. So you're on the arm and the upper back. And glide, palm is down, glide your body forward and back to the front and back of your mat. So you're rolling a little bit onto the back of that arm. One more. Now you're going to turn your palm up and repeat that, leaning onto it. And so you're not right on top of the arm. You're doing just a little bit of pressure on it and that upper back. One more. Now you're going to lower your hips again. Stack your knees to the left. You're still on the left side. Bring your elbow on top of the roller. Right on top, not in front, not behind. Directly on top. Pull your body, rotate forward, kind of like you're going to bring your chest towards that left arm. And then just move your body slightly up and down to the front and back of your mat. So you're getting that soft spot right in the back of that shoulder blade. And again, making sure that arm is on that roller. One more. And then roll all the way back onto the upper back. Open up the fingertips behind the head. Open up that chest. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. From here on your upper back, you're going to bring the feet together, and we're going to drop onto the opposite side, onto your right side. So now you're on the right side, and the right elbow is on the floor on the back side of that roller, knees stacked, and you're going to rock forward and back again. The elbow does come off the floor when you go back into the shoulder blade, and remember if you're missing lymph nodes, just stay back into the shoulder blade and glide the body gently to the front and back of your mat, or you can roll side to side from each side of your roll, the mat, from the one side to the other, or from the back towards the chest wall, noticing a difference. If you've been carrying luggage, putting luggage in the overhead, or getting checked bags, if you've been traveling and your upper body's like, wow, I've been lifting and dragging around these heavy suitcases, it can take a toll on the back and the shoulders. One more. Now you're going to lean back into 
those um, sh that shoulder blade, bring the knees up, feet flat. Bring your right arm next to the body, palm is down. Lean just enough so you're getting into that arm and the upper back and use those feet to glide your body to the front and back of your mat. Not too much weight. You're not on the side of the arm. You're just on the back. One more. And then flip your palm up and repeat. One more. Now you're going to go towards the top of that shoulder and you're going to lower the hips. Bring your elbow on top of the roller and drop both knees towards the floor. Again, you're still holding on to the head with your left arm. And I want you to lean your body towards that right arm on top of the roller. Make sure the elbow is not in front of the roller or behind it. It's directly on top. And then roll forward. And after you roll forward, stay forward and just glide your body again to the front and back of the, the mat. So you're gonna feel it massaging right behind that shoulder in that soft spot area. You might get it down into the tricep a little bit if you have anything going on there, if it's tight. Sometimes your right side might be a little more tender if you are right-handed or you are doing a lot of work with the mouse. For your computer, one more. And then we're going to roll all the way back onto our backs. Feet flat on the floor, open up that chest. Let's give one more roll to the upper back. Lift the hips and roll forward and back. You might get that little natural chiropractic adjustment, that pop. One more. And then we find the middle of the shoulder blades, lower the hips, forearms to the roller, and gently press yourself up. We're going to slide both hands underneath the knees, make a fist or interlace the fingers, and then just lean back, stretch it out. Find your breath, and then you're going to sit up nice and tall, same position, just walk the feet forward slightly so you feel the stretch down the neck, down those shoulders. We'll do a little bit more stretching, but we're going to move on first, and then we'll get put it all together and release those arms. Now we're going to flip over and go onto the quads. So come on to hands and knees, bring that roller right under the thighs right above the knees and dropping to the elbows and make sure that elbow is under the shoulder so you're always protecting those shoulders. Try to relax your legs as much as you can and glide yourself forward and back one inch. And notice if you're leaning more to one side or the other of the leg, maybe try leaning just to one side and then the other as you roll. Then walk the elbows back an inch and that roller moves up the thigh an inch. And same thing, you're moving forward and back. Maybe try leaning a little bit to the right for a couple of rolls and a little bit left to the left so more weight goes on that left leg. If it's too intense, just stay centered. Walk the elbows back. Roller moves up the thighs. And again, continue relaxing as much as you can. Now, it, I can say relax as, you know, until I'm blue in the face, but if you are really digging into the floor with your feet because it's painful, I would rather you take a little pressure off the roller so it's not as painful because we can't relax if we're in pain. It's just impossible. So just take your time and maybe you do this more often, but for shorter lengths of time, if the quads are very sensitive. So just keep that in mind. You can lessen the pain by doing this more often or just even stretching more. Practice stretching this and getting your hydration up in your body will help. After traveling on an airplane, a lot of times we are more dehydrated. So that's one thing to be mindful of. Now just, again, you're just moving up that thigh. Remember to lean to the right, a couple rolls, lean to the left. Now once you get to the top of the thighs, everybody has different leg lengths. Once you're there, we're gonna slide off the back and we are gonna do a stretch of the quads. Separate your knees, 
feet together, the rollers in front. So we're gonna do a double stretch here for the back, the shoulders, the quads. Melt into child's pose, knees apart, feet together. Try to get your belly between your thighs and your arms reaching out over onto the roller. And find your breath. So here you're feeling a nice back stretch, quad, armpit, shoulder stretch. One more breath. And then you're slowly going to come all the way up. Now we are going to roll the quads one more time. So we always like to roll the quads. Like I said, when it gets, when they're a little sensitive, we want to get on there twice. More often, shorter bouts. So you are on that roller and you're just going to tilt your body slightly to the right. You're still on both legs and just gently roll forward and back an inch. Walk your body back. Your legs are about hip distance apart. Walk your elbows back, forward and back again. Moving up the thighs. Now you're gonna have a little more weight on that right leg because you're tilting your hips to the right slightly. So you might be feeling that sensation, especially as you come up. But we're still hitting a little bit of that inner left thigh. Maybe that's your spot that's a little tender. Keep on moving up. Now when you get towards the top of those thighs, stay with it on that right side. As high as you comfortably can, maybe getting into that hip flexor. Then you're going to level out the body so the weight is on both legs. And then just walk your elbows forward and slowly, very slowly, try to bring that roller down back above the knees. You might find some spots there Realign the feet, make sure they're back to hip distance apart. Draw your hips to the left, just slightly, and work your way forward and back an inch. So it's gonna feel a little different. You can tell the areas you're getting. Walk the elbows back an inch, go forward and back. And another walk back, forward and back. Anyone tell a difference on this leg compared to the other? One leg might feel easier than the other. One leg might have more tender spots, trigger points. Just keep working your way up towards the top of that thigh. There's lots of different ways to roll the quads, but this is a good way just to get not just the middle, but the in and outer edges of that thigh. Once you get to the top, we're gonna level out the body again. Feet about hip distance apart, and then walk the arms forward so that roller slowly goes down to the knees. Good. And you're gonna bend your knees, feet to the sky, and then slow, relax your legs again, wiggle those feet. Slowly draw your body backwards and just walk your elbows backwards. Might feel a little easier now. Then you're gonna straighten out your legs when you get to the top of the thighs and slide off the back of the roller. Now here, we're going to set the roller to the side and we're gonna lay on our bellies because I wanna stretch out those quads more than just the child's pose. So place your right hand under your chin Bend your left knee and reach for your left foot and just pull that left heel towards your left butt cheek. Now a couple options, maybe you can't reach your foot. That is not a big deal. You can use a yoga strap or a belt, towel. Another option is to extend your right arm, roll onto your right side and bring that top left leg behind you, putting the instep of your foot on the floor or you could even put it on your roller and roll it behind you because you want to stretch through that hip flexor. So very important after sitting while traveling, stretching out the front of those hips. 
Maybe do a little squeeze release of the glute to feel how that quad stretches out as long as it doesn't cause you any cramping in that hamstring. One more breath. Now we're going to release that left leg and we're going to bring the right arm in under the chin. Reach back, grab hold of your right foot, bring the heel towards your glute. Same thing on this side. If you cannot reach your foot, you can always lay on your left side. You can bring your roller behind you and put the foot on it or even bring your foot to the floor, stretching through that hip flexor. You always want to hold this stretch for a minimum of 10 seconds because because it's very important to get that that quad and that hip to loosen up. It can rotate our hip up, hips out of alignment, can cause low back pain. So enjoy that stretch. One more. Now you're going to let go of that right leg and you're just going to press yourself all the way up and then have a seat facing the front of your mat and bring your roller right in front of you so we can bring the legs on top. So again, sitting, um, the sh sitting a lot, the calves get short and tight. Um, these get short and tight because we've been sitting, so we want to just loosen things up. Hands behind the back. You're going to take, we're going to start with the right calf. So bring your left ankle over the right calf. You're going to bring your hands close to the body. Now one option just to do a gentle bend and straighten. If you can lift your body, maybe drag that roller from the ankle to the calf. Maybe add a little rotation of the ankle. Loosening things up. Change direction of your rotation. Now take your whole leg, your whole body. You're going to twist and turn it to the right. If you're on your hips, your glutes, you would just turn your body towards the right and bend and straighten. If you can lift your body up, rotate from the ankle all the way up towards the knee, but not behind the knee directly, and rotate that ankle. If you find a spot that's a little tender, maybe you pause there and rotate the ankle, massage out that trigger point, those knots. If you have plantar fasciitis and it's been sensitive to you lately, this is a great preventative and also helps take, help take away that pain. Then you're going to turn that whole leg to the left. If you're seated, you're just sitting more on your left glute and you're bending and straightening the knee. If you're otherwise, you're lifting the hips and rotating that ankle. So the, when you rotate the ankle, it's like pin and stretch. So you're kind of digging into that spot, whatever that knot is, and we're really loosening things up. Make sure that ankle rotates both directions. Good, last one. And then we're gonna lower the hips to the floor. Take the uh, right ankle over the left and we're gonna do the other side. So bring that left toe up towards the sky, flex the foot, draw the body forward and back, or you can sit on your bottom and just bend and straighten. Then start to add that right ankle rotation. If it's too much weight with both legs crossed, you can always do one foot at a time. That is, again, lots of options. You choose what feels good to you. Now we're going to go into the outside of that left leg. So you're going to turn that whole body, upper body to the left. Again, you can be seated, just bending and straightening, rotating the ankle. Find those knots, massage them out. If they don't come out the first time, that's okay. Just keep going back to it. Maybe a couple times a day, adding a little massage to it. See if you can get it to dissolve. It might take more than a few days. And then rotate that whole body and the leg towards the right. And you can either sit and bend and straighten or lift the body up and rotate that ankle. One 
one more, and then back down the middle. Now, from here, we're going to stretch out those calves, and in the meantime, get a little other stretch for the back, the glutes, the hamstrings. So you can have your roller in front. You can put your hands on the back, front side of it. Tuck your toes under. And we're going to go lift the hips, downward facing dog, and pedal out your feet to walk your dog. Just feel that nice stretch. If this is too much on your shoulders, you can always put your elbows on the roller and just push back into that calf because you're still stretching everything out. And just feel how good that feels. Maybe you just do one leg at a time, like push the right leg in, cross your left foot over the right ankle, and just rotate your hips side to side. This is really good, too, for if you have plantar fasciitis, like I mentioned earlier. This helps stretch the fascia tissue and soften it as it wraps around over the heel of the foot. And then try the other leg. Plant that left foot, cross the right ankle over the left, and move your hips side to side. And you want this to feel good. Maybe you plant both feet. Maybe you go up into the toes, back into the heels a couple times, and then lower all the way back down to the knees. Separate your knees, feet together, and let's do a child's pose again. We're going to add a little extra stretch for the upper body. So you're going to reach your um, left arm forward on top of that roller. Bring your right palm up and under and slide under. And let's just hold this here. Feel that nice stretch. Maybe wiggle the right fingers. Now from here, take that right arm all the way out. Place it on the roller. Bring your left arm under. Stretch it under. Wiggle those left fingers. And then slowly come back up, releasing all the way up. Bring that roller to the back, to the side. And then go ahead and have a seat, sitting up nice and tall. So we rolled and stretched the upper and lower body. So we want to get a little twist through that torso area. So take your right hand and reach it to your excuse me, your left hand, reach it to your right thigh, and reach your right arm behind you. And you can have the roller close or far away, it doesn't matter. Lengthen through the spine and add a twist. And find your breath. Use that left arm to help you twist to the right. Feel the stretch in the shoulder. And now you're slowly going to release Transition through the middle. Reach your right hand to the left thigh. Left hand behind you. Lengthen through the base of the spine and feel that nice twist. And breathe. Feel the stretch through the shoulder, through the torso. Now you're going to come all the way back through the cent to the center. Pull the shoulders up to the ears and then all the way back down. Draw your right ear to right shoulder. Feel the stretch to the left side of the neck. Head back to neutral and then the other side. Ear to shoulder. Back to center, chin to chest. Take a breath in. Let it out. Bring the head all the way back to center. Slide the shoulders up to the ears one more time. And then all the way back. Take a deep breath in. Reach the arms overhead. Exhale, palms to heart space. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.